Alright, today we're going to take a look at this uh, brand new DIY power bank that I bought off of eBay. Uh, the brand is Tomo, I think that's how you pronounce it. Model number uh, M4. Because I know there's a lot of uh, models uh, out there. So, two USB ports, one rated at 1 amp and the other at 2 amps. Okay, um, of course there is a power button and of course the other port is for charging 5 volts inside. Uh, to the batteries and then that part just helps you open the case easily so your fingers don't or your thumb doesn't slip um, as long as the screen is facing you or if it's just push it towards the back and of course you have to turn it on to um, indicate to you what the capacity of the batteries are inside and I like the function that actually tells you that there's batteries missing inside so it just tells you individually it detects not like all other power banks that they all connected together so you can't really tell which one is less capacity and which one is not and then i'm just showing you that it has that reverse polarity uh, function that it won't uh, cause any fire so it will just tell you that there's a missing battery but it's not it's just that it's in reverse so it won't force it to charge and of course the cover doesn't come off so that's pretty good as well so you don't have to uh, worry about losing it and of course uh, right now we're going to do a test so to me it doesn't matter how good it looks but if it doesn't work uh, like it said uh, it should then um, it's just useless to me so of course anybody else would say that so uh, we're actually going to try out the 2 amp USB port and of course to do that we're going to use an iPad and everybody knows that these things draw a lot of amperage um, from any power bank so we're going to try that out first you notice right now that it's actually turning on and off and first thing I notice this is the first time I tried it actually didn't draw out as uh, many amps as I, as I you know, expected I was expecting over one amp at least but it was not actually doing that so I wasn't sure what was wrong so I tried to adjust uh, the USB detector and it didn't make any difference uh, well a little bit but not a huge difference so I thought it was a port on the USB detector so I changed it to the other side and still the same thing so I checked also on the Tomo screen it doesn't really show a higher average which is the same thing as the USB detector so I wanted to try on the 1 amp see if it does anything different from the 2 amp but same thing so I was getting worried right now so I was like I'm gonna message the seller about this but before I could do that um, I just wanted to try one more time without the USB detector so it went up a little bit but not enough to charge the iPad because right now you can't see it on the, on the screen but I was saying not charging because it needed more than one amp okay that's still not enough Okay, that's actually at the, the 5 volt 1 amp and then of course 10 minutes later as I was thinking um, I had to turn it off and turn it back on to see if it makes any difference um, actually did make a difference I don't know what happened there but I was actually charging the iPad at over 1 amp as you can see Then of course the USB detector indicates that it's over one amp, and then pretty much the same thing on the LCD or the screen of the Tomo charger. So I was happy about that because uh, I didn't know it was gonna be that accurate. So that's at uh, two amp port. Now I wanted to see what happens if I use the one amp, and it does draw out one amp. So. 
pretty happy about that okay and it still does charge a ipad well in this case ipad mini i'm not sure about the others okay so i'm just showing you how to well what happens on uh, when you charge it with a 2 amp uh, 5 volt uh, adapter because it does say that it draws out each um, battery should be drawing out or should be charging at sorry and uh, around about 400 milliamp each so of course I have four inside and does seem to do what it's um, stated in the specs so of course you need a 2 amp uh, 5 volt uh, charger for this if it's 1 amp then it's gonna be less than that so we're gonna see what happens if uh, I take one out okay so I wasn't expecting I thought it was gonna be a f um, still a high amp uh, draw but of course the spec says it's only 400 milliamp each so might take a while okay to charge your batteries and i've noticed that um, it does heat up your uh, usb power adapter i mean the yeah the 5 volt adapter gets a little bit hot when you charge it I'm not sure if there's another one higher uh, version than this but still works for me uh, hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe for more